Welcome. In the extensive history of the automobile, few moments are as foundational as the one we are exploring today. Before the assembly lines of Detroit, before the roar of the V8 engine, and before highways crisscross the continent, there was a fundamental shift from a world powered by horses to one driven by machines. Our focus is on the very genesis of that shift in the United States, the 1892 Duria Motor Wagon. This machine was not merely an early invention, it was the first operational gasoline-powered automobile built in America. Its creation was the spark that ignited a technological revolution, fundamentally altering the fabric of society, commerce, and daily life. In this presentation, we will unpack the story of this pivotal vehicle, understanding its engineering, its creators, and the profound legacy it left behind, setting the stage for America's journey to becoming a global automotive powerhouse. By the end of this lesson, you will be equipped with a comprehensive understanding of this landmark vehicle. Our journey will be guided by four key objectives. First, you will be able to identify the key figures behind the Duria motor wagon, the Duria brothers themselves, and understand the historical context in which they worked. Second, we will delve into the mechanics, allowing you to describe the core technical components and innovations of the 1892 model, from its engine to its chassis. Third, you will be able to explain the vehicle's lasting legacy and its immense impact on the American automotive industry. Finally, we will analyze its crucial role in establishing the internal combustion gasoline engine as the dominant power source for automobiles, eclipsing its early steam and electric rivals. Let's begin. The Duria motor wagon was the brainchild of two brothers, Charles, who conceived the idea, and Frank, who largely undertook the hands-on engineering. In their workshop in Springfield, Massachusetts, beginning in late 1891, they painstakingly assembled this new machine. Their approach demonstrated an ingenious blend of existing technologies with revolutionary concepts. The chassis, for instance, was a modified horse-drawn buggy, a familiar foundation for an unfamiliar purpose. They also incorporated durable components from the burgeoning bicycle industry. But the true heart of the machine was its engine. At its core was an innovative, single-cylinder, four-stroke gasoline engine. While modest by today's standards, producing between three-quarters and one horsepower, it was a marvel for its time. A key component was its spray carburetor, 